because the videos are all pre-recorded just a little bit, I don't know how close we are to the 13K. I'm trying to time it, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be slightly either earlier than 13K when Topographic Oceans comes out, or it's just a little bit after. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to Yes with It Can Happen off of their album 90125 released in 1983. It's actually kind of chilly in here. Let me turn off the fan. <laughs> I'm kind of like shivering. You guys can't even see that. As I said, I have no idea when this video is coming out in relation to us hitting 13k. Uh, if it's before, then you know, right on time. If it's a little after, Sorry, but I guess I can't really go wrong with too much yes. <laughs> of course, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You can join me on Twitter. Definitely join me in the comments down below. You can support the channel on Patreon. But for now, let's just listen to some more yes. This is It Can Happen by Yes.
you know? There's some things I really like about this song, and then there's like one thing I don't like too much. <laughs> so the coolest thing is uh, what sounds like a sitar in the beginning and then especially in the ending, um, I would imagine played by how, or if not an exact sitar, maybe an effect on the guitar or something like that, a pedal or some sort. But I like that. It sounds really cool mixing in with the music. I love the verse in the song. I love the way that Alan opens it up with the drums and there's a lot of space left. Uh, and then those bass runs from Squire. Those sound fantastic as they're isolated within that. And then Hal's kind of muted riffing uh, also sounds really nice in there. Uh, John, of course, duh. <laughs> Speaking of the vocals, I like uh, who I would assume is Trevor doing the backup vocals. And then I think Squire probably doing the deeper um, vocals and some of the harmonies. But I think altogether, this is a really good song. The only thing that I don't really like, just because it sounds, in my opinion, just so generic, is the chorus. There's just something really boring about the chorus itself. I love the verse, I love the setup. I even like the ending chorus because it, it kind of raises things in a different way, perhaps because of the sitar sound effect uh, or sound being played at the ending with it. So it kind of changes it a little bit. But I thought the verse was fantastic. The chorus was just a little boring. I don't know, felt kind of generic. But this, that groove is really good. I like that. And I like how John comes in with that. The harmony's kind of, you know, introducing him and then he kind of raises himself up, pops up, uh, and he has a very strong opening. Kay's piano playing throughout the verse is especially noted as well. And I think at some point, a little bit later on, uh, it switches from piano and you get just a little bit of a synth sound, more as a texture rather than a lead of any sort. This sounds not that interesting. This sounds kind of, kind of bland, you know? The verse, I'm all about. Like, as we come out of the chorus, it sounds better. That's, that, this sounds good. This is groovy. <laughs> this is rhythmic. I love that. Listen to the shredding by Hal, the, the piano by Kay. That's just a really nice pocket. It's just, to me, it's just a little unbalanced because the chorus is so uninteresting, while the verse sounds just really nice. But I love those bass runs, like I said, by Squire. And we get some classic yes harmonies uh, in the song as well. So overall, I like it, but it's not one of my favorites. I'm just a little bit hampered by the chorus. And to be honest, I feel like it goes on just slightly too long. And maybe that's because I don't like the chorus and we get a little bit more of that. So maybe if they had a little bit more of an extended instrumental at the end, rather than bringing the chorus back, maybe I would like it a little bit more. And then we heard some spoken word as well in the break and I couldn't quite make out what they said and I didn't see it here in the lyrics that it was written out. But on Wikipedia it says that um, the dialogue there is taken from The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. The lines, come old boy, you had much better have the thing out at once. And that is exactly what dentists always do. Now go on, tell me the whole thing. Maybe I should read the lyrics to see how that kind of relates to that. <laughs> You can fool yourself, you can cheat until you're blind, you can cut your heart, it can happen. You can mend the wires, you can feed the soul apart, you reach, it can happen to you, it can happen to me, it can happen to everyone, eventually. So maybe not being too overconfident in yourself, perhaps you think that you may be able to get away with doing the wrong thing, you know, cheating until you're blind. You can cut your heart, you know, try and be cold and emotionless, but things can change. It's a constant fight, a constant fight. You're pushing the needle to the red, like you're just going like <laughs> overboard and you're gonna burn yourself out. Black and white, who knows who's right? No substitute, you're born, you're dead. Fly by night, created out of fantasy, our destinations call. I kind of get the idea reading the lyrics that it's really about change. You can change. Good can change to bad and bad can change to good. It can happen to everyone eventually, as he says in the chorus. This world I like, we architects of life. A song, a sigh, developing words that linger through fields of green, through open eyes, this for us to see. And kind of through the lyrics, there's a lot of times that he talks about things that are complete opposites. For example, uh, a song, a sigh. One is viewed as a positive thing, and one maybe not so positive, a sigh. Maybe like you're, you're tired or you're wary of the day or what's going on. Look up, look down, you know, black and white. So things can change, it can happen, but never say never, nothing is impossible. Anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on the song. You can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below. Have a fantastic day, guys. Don't forget to press the like button before you leave the video, if you haven't left already. But if, if you're still here, 
press the like button for me. But regardless, have a fantastic day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.